Hey, welcome to Rust Revival Garage. My name is Tim. Um, I'm in the middle of rewiring the interior of my 68 Pontiac Le Mans. Had to take out my console uh, to get to the neutral safety switch and reverse lights. Anyway, but once I took it out, I kind of had a chance to look it over. It's 57 years old and it's kind of rough. So what I figured I would do is see about painting it. Um, not huge on whether or not you can paint fabric and vinyl. So I'm gonna give it, give it a try. Um, what I'm gonna use is the Duplicolor uh, Vinyl and Fabric Specialty Coating. Gonna see if this works and uh, hopefully it turns out nice because the vinyl's in really good shape. There's no holes, there's no issues with it. Um, and it looks actually pretty good. I mean, it's it's passable for a lot of people, but there's some, there's some streaks and some stains kind of in there that I kind of want to see if I can make it look a little better. So let's get to it. Okay, so I kind of want to restore my console. One, because, well, it's original and I kind of want to keep the car as original as possible and it's in darn good shape I mean it's a little dirty um, as you can see I did do a little bit of cleaning on this side but it's it's still pretty bad um, but I'm gonna try a uh, Duplicolor I think it's called the Duplicolor vinyl and fabric paint it's a flat black and this is a little shiny, um, but I think the flat black will work well just because of the age. However, one of the things one of the things I like to use whenever I've got vinyl or leather, it's just a vinyl and leather cleaner specifically for this. If you use anything else, it can really kind of damage it. These kinds of things will actually allow it to soak in and almost, I don't want to say moisturize it, but you know, bring it back to life a little bit so it's not so dry and not so cracked before I paint it. I just want to get all of the stuff cleaned off first, let it rest for a bit, and then I can clean it off with some, degrease it with some Dawn soap and some hot water, and scruff it up a little bit with some 3M pads, and then I can go ahead and paint it and see if I can bring this back to life. Cleaner certainly did help out a lot. Now I'm even kind of wondering if I want to paint it or not. I don't know, I might give it this a couple more coats and see because this is actually what it needed. And the dash pad is looking real good. I mean this is 57 years old and it, this car is from California. I'm really surprised. The only problem areas, these two little spots right there. And I'm going to see if there's a way I can sort of touch those up. I hope so. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's in remarkably good shape. So I may not really have to do too much to that. Yeah, the console is okay. Like I said, it's just not doing as well on the sides. Okay, so I decided to do a little test run with the paint on the console, just to see how it looked. And that's four really light coats. And I really kind of like that. That's, that looks great. It's a flat black and it might actually dry a little less shiny than this but I think it looks really good so I think I'm going to do the whole console that way because this is clean and I've gone through and cleaned it several times and it's just I mean it's still like I said it's got a shine to it on the top but uh, yeah I definitely think it would look a lot better with that paint on it Using a little Scotch Brite to scuff it up a bit. So 
just like painting a car, I guess. Gotta give it something to stick to. This is like the softest scotch bright you can use. Ultra fine hand pad. But you don't want to dig in any grooves or anything like that. You just want to rough up that surface a bit. So I'll finish getting this all done. Now I'm just kind of getting off any kind of dust that might be on there. One thing that's different from using normal paint, you don't want to do it a light coat and then two heavy coats. This is really a lot more difficult because you want to give it, and it's so tempting to just spray and spray it, but you really just want to give it four light coats. I mean, just, you know, four, maybe five. Maybe on that fourth or fifth one is when you try to blend it in and make sure you don't have any spots or streaks. But for right now, I'm just going to do a ton of super light coats. Moved it away from the truck a little bit so I don't get any paint on that. Not that it probably wouldn't improve it a little bit, but here we go. And again, you're going to see streaks, you're going to see problems, but we're not trying to fix that in the first coat. Just giving it something far enough away here. So again, not much. Just one super light coat. Now I'm gonna wait about four minutes, five minutes, and do number two. It's a pretty good idea to clean off the little edge of the cap between each one of your coats. Uh, Cause that stuff, this stuff is pretty thick. Feels like it's spraying. There's a lot coming out basically. So I wanna kinda make sure that it's not gonna get clogged up on me. All right, here goes coat number two. Very light coat. Not trying to change the color in each one. Again, just a little bit. It's already starting to look a lot better. I might be hitting it a little too hard or, you know, too much, but yeah, I think four coats should do it for me. As you can see, it's getting like a little heavy in one spot and then nothing right there. So it's really just a matter of just getting the coats on and then we'll sort of clean it up with the final coat. All right, coat number three. It's getting kind of dark out here. Hopefully you can see. Hopefully I can see. And not a super heavy coat. And everything just fell down. This last coat, or this, this is third coat, like I said, just a light one, and then we will do another final coat, and we'll try to smooth out any areas we see that aren't being filled in. Like I can see one right there. Anyway, yeah, we'll get it. Okay, here we go with our probably fourth and final coat. A little bit heavier. Just want to make sure I get all the good spots and that I've missed. And yeah, I know I'm a fool for painting out here in the dark, but uh, 
There's only so much you can do in a day, so. Okay, it's been a few hours. That looks so nice. That is awesome. Good as new, I guess. Yeah. So that's gonna do it. I think it turned out really well. I'm pretty excited with how it looks. Again, it wasn't in bad shape to begin with, no tears, nothing else like that. It was just kind of stained from years and years of use. But uh, it's the uh, Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric Specialty Coating. Um, hopefully it holds up to wear and tear. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I think it turned out great. Um, like it if you got anything out of it. Give me a comment if you have a question or if there's a better way to do it. That uh, This is the first time I've ever painted vinyl, so let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe if you can. Got a lot more going on with the 68 Pontiac Le Mans, and I'd love it if you could join me. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. We will catch you next time.